It's time to take a look at what's happening around Wyoming for Thursday, July 25th. I'm Wendy Kaur, bringing you headlines from the Cowboy State Daily Newsroom, brought to you by Wyoming Senior Olympics, reminding you that this year's Summer Olympics start July 31st in Cheyenne and volunteers are needed. Become a volunteer today at wyomingseniorolympics.org. U.S. Representative Harriet Hageman is catching heat from the Wyoming Democratic Party for saying Vice President and Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris was hired by President Joe Biden to be his VP, not because of her qualifications, but because her race and gender fulfilled the president's diversity, equity, and inclusion, or DEI, goals. Cowboy State Daily's Leo Wolfson reports that the Wyoming Democratic Party took offense to these comments, calling them racist. This stems from a comment that President Joe Biden made back in 2019 when he said he was looking to find a person of color and a woman to fill his VP role, which obviously Harris uh, fulfills both those requirements. But the uh, Democratic Party of Wyoming finds this this was a racist comment on Hageman's part, and they want her uh, to apologize for, for making it. Hageman said, quote, if you don't want people to say she was hired only because she's a black woman, then maybe Biden shouldn't have said he was only going to hire a black woman, end quote. On Tuesday, the Black Diamond Pool in Yellowstone National Park violently erupted. The force of the eruption sent rocks hundreds of feet into the air and destroyed the boardwalk that dozens of people had been standing on when it blew. Cowboy State Daily's Andrew Rossi spoke to Mike Poland, scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, about the science behind the event, which Poland categorized as a small hydrothermal explosion. A hydrothermal explosion happens when water converts the steam because it expands so much up to a thousand times just creates a lot of energy and that's what happened underneath black diamond pool on tuesday poland told me that these kind of hydrothermal explosions happen maybe not all the time but there are at least a couple of them every year i guess the scary thing about it is they can happen anywhere at any time in Yellowstone. The Biscuit Basin boardwalk remains closed to visitors while geologists and National Park Service teams assess the damage and the current behavior of the Black Diamond Pool. Residents in a small Montana town were saddened and angered when they learned that a headless grizzly carcass that was left in the Yellowstone River was a popular bear well known to townspeople. The 15-year-old male was Grizzly 769, a bear dubbed the Blacktail Lakes Bear. And outdoors reporter Mark Hines says this was the same bear that had made trouble in Gardner, Montana and had to be put down by wildlife agents. They shot it when it was in the river because figure that was the safest option, you know, rather than trying to shoot it in the middle of a bunch of houses and stuff. And it died and the carcass started floating down the river and it finally got hung up and stopped in a place where they just, they couldn't get it from shore. So what they did is they cut off the head and the paws of the grizzly because grizzly skulls and grizzly claws can bring a lot of money on the black market. Despite what some see as a terrible waste, the Montana Department of Fish, Wildlife and Parks sees as nature taking care of business as the carcass of the bear is already being scavenged by bald eagles and other predators. I'll be back in just 15 seconds with more news. In southwest Wyoming, wide open space is waiting. This is how we explore it. In Rock Springs and Green River, Wyoming. Plan your adventure at explorewy.com. The collapse in coal production continues out of the state's energy-rich Powder River Basin in northeastern Wyoming. Second quarter data released Wednesday by the Wyoming State Geological Survey shows coal production has slipped nearly 30 percent from the second quarter of 2023. That's on top of the 21 percent drop in the first quarter, according to energy reporter Pat Mayo. You know, there's a lot of stockpiles out there still of coal, and the winter was very light. Natural gas prices are low, and, you know, there's there's no, been no rebound in the market, which is bad for the Powder River Basin. But Travis Detai, executive director of the Wyoming mining industry, said he's cautiously optimistic of signs of a rebound coming in the second half of the year and into 2025. Former President Donald Trump has scheduled a campaign stop in Wyoming early next month. Trump is scheduled to attend a fundraiser for his campaign in Jackson on August 10th. It will be his second visit to the Cowboy State in the last two years, according to politics reporter Leo Wolfson. 
he came here in 2022 for a campaign fundraiser for Congresswoman Harriet Hageman. The event that's going to be taking place on August 10th is big money all the way, which is no surprise that they selected Jackson, which is one of the wealthiest towns and counties in America uh, for the event. It will cost 5000 to get into the event just to, to get in itself. A photo with Trump at the event will run $35,000 or a pledge to raise 70000 Co-hosting, which includes a table, photo with Trump and entry to the lunch reception comes with a $150,000 price tag. And two men involved in saving an 11-year-old boy who'd fallen into the Whitewater Rapids at the Papoja River in May say they are convinced the rescue was a miracle from start to finish. Lonnie Porter and Ronnie Disbro were recognized during Cheyenne Frontier Days as hometown heroes in front of a crowd of at least 10,000 spectators, earning them a standing ovation. The men told Cowboy State Daily's Renee Jean that a series of fortunate coincidences that day saved the boy from certain death. Well, this kid lost a croc. So I reached down into the water to pick it up and the water just was going so fast. It just grabbed him and swept him in. There's about 10 things that if any one of them had been different, that kid would have gone into the Sinks Canyon and we would have never seen him again. It only takes 10 minutes of hypothermic conditions to put most people out of commission, and the child had already been in the water for 35 minutes by the time rescuers arrived. Porter and Disbro credit divine intervention for the happy ending to this story. And that's today's news. Get your free digital subscription to Wyoming's only statewide newspaper by hitting the Daily Newsletter button on CowboyStateDaily.com. And you can watch this newscast every day by clicking subscribe on our YouTube channel. I'm Wendy Kaur for Cowboy State Daily.